AJ, you get a kick out of seeing your uh, offensive coordinator run down there and jump up in the Sorry, air. Get in the, get, you get a kick out of watching Hackett run down oh, there and get in the it. pile. Love it, man. I mean, anytime you're at the OC, you get excited. Just as excited as the guys, you know, as the players. That makes you feel great. You, you know, obviously he's a young guy. But did you feel, you know, because he's such a young guy and you're pretty close in age, really, coach player. Right. You have a different relationship maybe than a, you know, a guy who's... 60 being your coordinator, well, you know? There's still that respect that he's still your coach, he's still your offensive coordinator, of course, but, you know, like you said, he is younger, so, you know, he's more hip to things that, you know, a guy like myself my age might know about, like, music or, you know, what's going on in current events, I guess, but other than that, he's still my coach, so he's still giving that respect. When you feel, James, when you're with Coach Hackett, where are the conversations gravitating toward in terms of your personal pain? What are you guys talking about the most through these first four or five days? Right, we just critique everything that we see on film, whether it's good or bad, you know, obviously, he doesn't hold anything back, he tells you, and what you did well, and what you need to fix, and uh, you know, I just jot everything down you said, so you know, I don't make that same mistake twice. How do you feel? Just you know, I mean, you get asked almost every day, but just so far, it seems like it's gone relatively well. Yeah, I feel great. You know, I think I've done well. I think the biggest thing for me, like I said last week, continue to be consistent, continue to build on you know what we've done as a team these past you now five days in practice. So uh, each day is a new day for me. EJ, uh, since we talked to you uh, on Monday, you've seen a lot of the, a lot more of the exotic blitzes that Mike Pettin throws at the quarterbacks. How do you feel that you've been able to handle that so far? Yeah, I thought we've done well, you know, as an offense overall. I mean, the line's done a great job, one, protecting and also communicating with me, uh, or me communicating with them, however it goes. You know, we have a great back and forth so that we're able to pick up those protections and those blitzes and still get the ball out. EJ, coming off the day off, how do you think the guy did today overall? Yeah, I, I was proud of the way we came out. Not at first, though, I felt like as on the offensive side, we came out a little sluggish, but we picked it up right after that first period. You know, I didn't think we played to our level of, you know, where we can be, where we can be as a team. Uh, defense did a great job. You know, obviously those guys did too, but uh, I think we can do better as an offense, and we did, you know, later on in practice after that first team period, we did a great job in the second half. More red zone work today, EJ, obviously things got to be more precise down there. The windows are tighter. So, you know, with all that in mind, it seemed like you guys were able to fix the pass in certain places down there where things get tight. Right, yeah, definitely. You just got to be on time. You know, that's the biggest thing. Obviously, like you said, you know, things happen a lot faster and a lot quicker in the red zone. And it was our first day doing some old red zone plays, so obviously we're going to have some mishaps, whether it was at the, at the quarterback position or receiver position or the line position. Uh, but I, I thought we came out and we did well to execute like what happened Maybe Wednesday more than today, you had a few good scrambles. Yeah. I feel like uh, not even just myself, but here, you know, play where the pass is moving down the field, you can drop the ball out to CJ or Fred or uh, all those guys can make you know great plays. So that's a great part about having you know great time on all these positions. When it comes to the first how much of it is just time and just experience on the field? Yeah, well, you know, I would say 80% of it is just continuing to rest, continuing to see those looks, continuing to be in that fire. I like to say. So uh, the more you can handle it, the better you, you know, the better you can show to the coaches that you can handle. Hot, uh, red zone throw to uh, Smith. Right. Was it a drop? Was it a little high? What do you think? Yeah, I got to get the ball down. 